Hey everybody, David Plummer and Michael Ferguson here from Aerial Influence. This is our season three podcast. This season, we are talking about DJI drones in the agriculture world specifically. So in each episode, we're gonna go over some different uh, topics, you know, from the different drones they use, the way they work together. But today we just kind of wanted to hit it in general. And Michael, I know you specifically have been the one kind of spearheading the agriculture side for us yeah. in terms of doing the research you know, finding out about the laws, finding out the legalities on, you know, can we spray? What can we do? Yeah. That sort of stuff. So how do you feel about the future of drones and where things are headed right now? I mean, it's definitely been a little slow up until now because it's not just about getting your 107. You've got to get your, your 107. You have to also uh, get what's called a 137. So it's kind of like a aerial applicator um, operating certificate. Yeah. And then in addition to that, you also have to have, if you're going to be doing restricted use pesticides, then you have to get the um, pesticide license. So there's kind of like three things. Now, not not everybody gets all three. You know, a lot, usually you've got like a crop duster, he's just flying. Then you've got somebody that's doing, you know, mixing the tank for them. Uh, so he's the pesticide guy. Um, and then obviously, you know, with, with manned aviation, it's, you don't need the remote pilot, but you need a pilot's license. So what we did is we tried to, we're not growers, obviously, um, but we're drone guys. So we wanted to go through the process. So we knew exactly how um, it, it would work for a client of ours. So we wanted to get the 137, you know, obviously we had our 107 license for the remote uh, pilot's license. Um, and then we also needed to get, uh, some training on pesticide. So yeah. now we kind of understand how to go about this legally. And we can also offer the drones. We can talk about the software, all that kind of stuff. And basically putting together an, an, an ecosystem. So it's another broad tool that can be used on the farm or wherever. And so the idea of this podcast series is, Brief overview then in each episode, we're gonna talk a little bit specifically. So in one of the future episodes, we'll talk about that 137, what it takes to right. get it, what it takes to get that aerial applicators license, uh, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but at least the way I feel about it is I think that, you know, in the agriculture world, they've been trying to push drones for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the farmers out there got a, a little bit leery of it. I think they were like, there's all this right. promise of what it could do, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Now I finally think we're at that point where it really could be, you know, making a big push forward into the future and in a way that it's going to make farming more economical for a lot more people, yep. um, you know, and hopefully can help save much of the farming community because they are struggling uh, just as much as everybody else is right now, if not more. Right. Um, you know, so I, I think there are a lot of interesting possibilities in the future for sure. And uh, it'll, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how, how aerial influence, you know, plays a, a role in that because there's not a lot of companies out there right now that are that are doing what we're doing no i mean it started off where you were using a, a regular drone basically an eye in the sky to do crop scouting mm -hmm. um and then we've got you know clients that are in um you know crop insurance some that are into then, then it kind of bled into multi-spectral so the cameras yeah. got better but still there was nothing with really spraying or spreading now we've got the sprayers and the spreaders, but it's kind of like, what do you, what do we put in it? We're going to go basically go over the whole ecosystem. We're going to talk about planning. So mapping with the P4 RTK, with the Phantom 4 multispectral. We're going to uh, use uh, Ground Station Pro, that's the iPad app, uh, to plan the maps. Once we have acquired the images, we're then going to take it in Terra and then we'll, we'll kind of show all, all the things that you can do with Terra. And, and I think and I think that's uh, an interesting thing. We can give people lots of information from these drones, especially from a multispectral, but what are they gonna do with that information right. is the big question. And we'll get into a little bit of that in some future episodes. So thank you guys so much for checking it out. We got more episodes to come. We're talking drones in the world of agriculture. I'm David, this is Michael. We're Aerial Influence. We'll see you next time.